Okay, the Moore's Million Stairs, leg six here from Punchestown. Ten of them, over three miles, two furlongs. So number one is Notoyo Bonsanto for Derek, Tom Derek Thompson. <laughs> Taron Thompson, two is Napoleon Gray for St Stu Gray. Three, Tommy Gunn for Kevin Meenham. Four, Cat Tail for Carl Arrogante. Five, Uncle Bunge for Obi-Wan. Six, Gay Brief, Martin Leadham. Seven, Brace for Impact, Graham Clutterbucks. Eight is Grainy Ambience for Darren Howes. Nine is Passive Future for Daniel French. And ten is Excellent Down for Doug Warren. It's only ten of them here over this three mile two. Good chance to qualify for the Moors Millions. I assume a lot of the other horses are over at the Hennessy, which is, uh, I think, also run. Uh, I think it was run yesterday. They're away here, though. So it's a good opportunity to qualify for the Moors Millions later in the season, which I think is always week 13. As we're waiting for him to settle, it's Uncle Bunge that's going to lead. With the three miles to go. It's Uncle Bunge that takes him into the first. Jumps it well as does most of the rest of the pack. So it's Uncle Bunch for Obi-Wan that leads us. A couple of lengths to Cattail for Carl Arrogante. And there are a couple of lengths ahead of the rest of the pack, which is just led by Tommy Gunn out wide. We've got Napoleon Gray the Grey. Inside of that is Excellent Down. Inside of that one is Notoyo Bonsanto. And finally, the one that gets the fence is Brace for Impact. They take the second. Just at the rear at the moment, a passive future and gay brief. But it's Uncle Bunch likes to lead. Although I should imagine uh, Cattail wants to be there as well. Both Carl Arrogante and Obi-Wan do have uh, front-running chasers. They all hit the third together. And they're all over it. A few of them being pushed along, though. I see to keep their minds on it. We need them. We're riding now on board Notoyo Bonsanto. Uh, David Thompson. Darren Thompson, I'm sorry Mr. Thompson, I call you Derek Thompson, I'm sure he's a commentator. Anyway, as we approach the next, the fourth, it's a plain one, everybody's over it. Just on the inside of Natoyo Bonsanto we can see Passive Future, obviously out wide is Tommy Gun. the green silks we can't see. Make up a little bit of ground here, Natoyo Bonsanto. There's Napoleon Grey, the grey in front of us, the one outside of that is Grainy Ambience. And we can see the rear of battle for impact. They're all over the next, which was the fifth. Everybody's jumped it well. So back up front is Uncle Bunch by a couple of lengths to Cat Tower as they take this bend and uh, line up into the straight. Which, uh, they'll have another circuit to go. But it's Uncle Bunch. Gets over the six well. As does the rest of the chasing pack. Just demoting himself into the rear now is Tommy Gun by Kevin Meenaham. But it's still Uncle Bunch. Going to lead them into the last. Which will be, sorry, the last on this circuit. And it will be the last next time round. So it's Uncle Bunge by four to Cat Tow. Everybody negotiates it well. They're all jumping quite well with these horses. Especially on these conditions. Heavy ground here today. As we see them coming from, from the distance. The crowd going wild still here at Punch's Town. And it's still Uncle Bunge. Just by a couple of lengths to Cat Town now. And just there's a rising ground just at the end catches a few of those jockeys out as we've seen earlier in the races but it's Uncle Bunch and Cat Town and lead us out for one more circuit from the grey passive future the outside of that is another grey Napoleon grey we go over the eighth one on the inside moving well is Brace for Impact next select down being pushed along a little bit Gay Brief in the Martin Needham colours then the Toyo Bonsanto, Grainy Ambience and Tommy Gun. They go to the ninth, the ditch. Everybody gets over it. A couple of slow jumps. But it's still Uncle Bunch, happy to be at front. Cattail's demoting himself back to the chasing pack now. And then a little rest, allowing Uncle Bunch just to lead. Then we're going to approach the next one. It's still Uncle Bunch. And then we've got Cattail, excellent down. The two greys, Passive Future and Napoleon Grey. Gay Brief in between. One against the fence, brace for impact. And they're just being followed through by Natoyo Bonsanto, Grainy Ambience and Tommy Gun. So as they come to the 10th, another plain one. Everybody jumps it, although Natoyo Bonsanto went through the top of it. And he's being pulled up. He took a little bit of a knock there. So bad luck to Darren Thompson. Top weight for the day is gone. So it's Uncle Bunge. Been put under a little bit of pressure now by Excellent Down. 
His lead's been well shortened there because they're chasing Packer only a couple of lengths behind. And they include Gay Braith. Well, looks like we're losing Tommy Gun there, getting pulled up as well. Unlucky Mr. Minahan. But it's Excellent Down and Uncle Bunge. Excellent Down's going to lead them into the 11th first. Rises first, gets over it, as does everybody else. A poor jump by Cat Towns, demoted himself a little bit further and into the chase further down the chasing pack but we're being led by excellent down now uncle bunge in second passive future third gay brief making up some good ground cattail napoleon gray brace for impact and grainy ambience has got a few furlongs to find just to get onto the end of the pack so they go to the 12th everybody takes it well Uncle Bunch just pushes himself back into the lead now. His excellent down has a little rest. The one on the inside now is Cattail. Got a bit of a plum ride. Then we've got one of the greys, Passive Future in the orange silks. Outside of that is Gay Brief. Then we've got Napoleon Grey. They're into this ditch, the 13th. Not unlucky for anyone. It's Uncle Bunch that still leads us. And now we've lost Grainy Ambience has also been pulled up. So three pull-ups in this race. Bit of, a, bit of a shame out of ten. So it's Uncle Bunch that still leads. Six furlongs left to run. Uncle Bunch from Cattail. Excellent down. Passive Future. Gay Brief. Napoleon Napoleon Grey, they're all in this. The one that's being plugged along a little bit at the back is Brace for Impact. But as they approach the 14th, it's Napoleon Grey that took that best and challenges the lead for Uncle Bunch. But Uncle Bunch whips out, tries to keep the lead. So it's Uncle Bunch and Napoleon Grey by a couple of lengths to the gay brief. Cat tail, passive future, excellent down. Brace for Impact's the only one I can't see getting into this. So up front is Napoleon Grey starting to pull ahead now. They approach the 15th. We've got two left to jump. Was over it slow and has allowed Uncle Bunch to push back. Gay brief on the outside. Side. The jockey's pulling, pushing hard now. There are a good couple of lengths from Passive Future. Cat Town, Excellent Down, and Brace for Impact right at the rear. But it's Gay Brief that takes it up inside the three furlongs. Goes to the penultimate, takes it well. Got a good lead by a couple of lengths now uh, from Uncle Bunge and Napoleon Gray. Here comes Passive Future, put down a challenge for second and third. But Gay Brief leads by four to five now as they approach the last. We've still got two furlongs on to run though, but it's Gay Brief. Uh, the pack comes Passive Future and also Excellent Down. They're going to be the only ones he nips over the last gay brief he's probably got four to five lengths here you're probably not going to catch him on this heavy ground so it's gay brief that leads us inside the final furlong but here comes passive future and excellent down they're starting to cut his lead he's got to do something here gay brief half a furlong gay brief passive future excellent down gay brief still hanging on we're inside the last 10, 10 yards it's gay brief passive future gay brief and passive future go across the line together just on a nose bob I imagine I think uh, nearest to us may well have hung on to that gay brief for Martin Leadham let's have a look Ooh, gay brief has been given it there from passive future I think that may well be a dead heat excellent down unlucky in third fourth was Napoleon great fifth was the blue horse for Carolina County I forgot its name so let's wait until the card comes up so the qualifiers will be for the Moors Million. So Gay Brief has got it by short head for Martin Lee. And we'll be pleased with that win. Passive future for Daniel French. Didn't recognise those colours. Excellent down for Doug Warren was third. Napoleon Gray for Stu Gray was fourth. And fifth was Cat Tau for Carl Arrogante. OK, we're going to move on to the second Moors Million stairs. The long distance one.